Hi everyone. Hi. I'm Dana. I'm Mihal. And this is Explore Vegan ATX. And today we are technically eating out, but we're doing it at home. We're preparing it from home. Yeah, we have a great opportunity with Shop Veggie and they sent us some of their newest mainstream plant-based patties. So we're so excited to try them out. Yes, uh, we got some right here. They also sent us a whole burger kit here. Um, you're gonna see, I'm heating up my pan because I've decided that I want some sauteed spinach on my uh, burger. So I am just, I've chopped up some spinach and I'm gonna just throw it in here and melt it really quick. But we also have some uh, Roadhouse cheddar. Yeah, gnocchos. And I guess we're gonna get cooking. I'm gonna wilt this. Let's get cooking. Yeah. Awesome. I'm, so I'm going to uh, try out this patty. I'm gonna fill it up. All right. So when I open these patties, you know, it looks like like frozen patties you would get from the store. You know? It really does. It really does. Yeah. And uh, honestly, you can't really tell a difference, I think, too much They it, it, from a frozen patty. So they do look a little like meat, I think. Yeah. I think these are probably the most authentic looking ones that I've ever bought. I think these are, these look authentic. So we're making a quick I guess a quick vegan meal at home. It's beautiful out today, so I feel like it is perfect time to have those burgers, right? Um, so day is just around the corner. I know. Get and your buns out. Get your buns out. Yeah, get your buns out. Uh, this is pretty simple. It just says preheat cooking service to medium heat and coat with oil. I already have some oil in here, but I'm just gonna wilt my spinach really quick. And then place the frozen mainstream burger on the hot cooking surface. Cook for three to four minutes on each side. And then it says you're done. So let's see about that. I love it. I wilted my spinach. Thank you for those directions because I just threw mine on the... <laughs> Not me. Oh, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna wing it. Well, winging it's good. I figure some people I like to wing a lot in the kitchen. I'm I'm a I'm a cook by feel kind of person. Yeah. And so sometimes I forget. So I'm gonna I have some spinach still in there, but I'm gonna put my patty in right now. Right there. Dana's being bougie and she's doing some wilted spinach. I've got some tomato, some beautiful cherry tomato. First off, uh, all this stuff matches. Flame. Toronto pepper. It's gonna be it's gonna be a nice spicy uh, burger. And I have to tell you, I've been loving this product from Whole Foods. It's plant-based Vita. Okay. It really tastes like the real thing. It has such a great, like, elevated smoky flavor. It's so good. It's so good. I'm That's gonna put that on my burger. I like that. Uh, are you going to, are you going to slather, slather the vegan cheese on your burger? Oh yeah, I'm going to put my best friend Miyoko's Roadhouse Cheddar for sure. <laughs> And some extra gouda, just because I love vegan cheese. All right, well, I'm gonna season my patty now with a little pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta um, a little salt. Season as you go, everybody. <laughs> so again, thank you so much to Shop Veggie. They're 100% plant-based online store where you can get hundreds of different vegan products. I always find it so hard to find you know, specific brands and specific things like that. But Shop Veggie has a ton of stuff. They offer a price match guarantee. So if you find something cheaper, you know, somewhere else on some other platform, you can tell them and they'll they'll match the price for you. So it's a great one-stop shop for all things plant-based. That's awesome. And then they deliver straight to your door? They do deliver to your door. And this came so fast. We ordered it, what, on Monday? And we had it within a couple days. It was great, so. Yeah, and they confirm your order on the menu. Now, don't worry, this is this is the Miyoko butter with my big knife. <laughs> and uh, and then they let you know when it's getting delivered, and then I think you can track your package, right? Yeah, you can track your package, and they it, pa it was packed so well. They had um, dry ice and all this kind of stuff, because you know they sent us like fries and 
frozen patties and stuff like that. So it, it held up so beautifully. Um, really, really nice surprise to get. Yeah. I am going to flip my patty right now on the side. I got a good color on this um, right now. I am going to just bump my heat up just a little bit just because it's still frozen on the other side. And of course, I got a season on the other side here just a little bit. I've never had sprouted buns like this. This looks really good, really healthy. I have had sprouted buns and they're really good. They give that like earthy taste. There's a nutty taste to it. I've mm -hmm. also tried to make sprouted buns uh, from scratch. Uh, I'm still working on it, guys, for that one. But you know, it. I think you can do it. If you. Can do it. Okay, so as we it up, we got some pliability here. I do like that it's still pretty thick, as you can tell, right? There's like. Oh, this looks so good. And then I'm gonna drop a little Buddha on top and get it all nice and melty. Give me one good burger. All right, they just need a couple more minutes uh, in there. And then- I told Dana I tried pickling onions for the first time. I don't think they're gonna be ready because I just did it <laughs> 30 no, minutes. Do a quick pickle that you're gonna get it. It's good. Really? I'm so yeah. I, love, I love having some sort of like acid or you know pickled element to a burger. And so I thought, let me give it a shot, but- yeah, the quick pickle, that actually, you'll be surprised how much it adds in the taste. I do quick pickling a lot. Okay, I'm gonna open up this uh, cheddar. Yeah, this looks great. This has like a really deep, beautiful brown color. I think it's getting, it's getting there. Now, it does say on here, we want the minimal external, internal temperature to be 165. I had a little bar on there. So, technically, I could, I'll uh, take out my thermometer and uh, we'll test it here. Uh, I love that. You are very, you are on the ball. But it looks good, so I'm gonna just say, you know what? I think it looks good. I'm gonna throw my onions in too in this pan really quick because I, I don't want my onions too cooked. But I do want yeah. that. And you know, I really wanted to do some sauteed mushrooms, but I had so many other components. I was like, you know what? Next time. Luckily, these come what ten to a pack or eight to a pack, which is great. Yeah. There's a ton in here, and I think you know. And there's such a good price point. Usually, I feel like um, other plant-based meats are a little expensive. This is a great price point. Do you feel? Yeah. Do you feel like it's worth the? The bang for the buck? Well, well, we'll have to try it and see. That's true. I'm gonna take my onions off right now. And to me, this is like one of the first plant-based patties that I've seen that actually kind of, it looks like the real thing. I don't know if, if you if you could attest to that or not, but. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times when you're getting those things like, um, you know, a beet burger or a black bean burger, you yeah. know it's a, like they're calling it a burger, but it really it's been mushed together in a way that doesn't maybe really look like, um, you know, meat. I'm gonna put my um, sauteed onions and uh, spinach right on top of this chair, and it's still hot, so I think it'll help uh, melt this cheddar a little bit. I'm gonna put some fresh serrano peppers on top of my. Oh, so you're making it spicy. I love it. I love a little heat. You gotta have a little heat on there. Right. Get too close. Okay. So I got this. I, I could come over and try yours, and you could come try mine. Ready. I did it, guys. I did it. You did it. You did it. And that was super easy, and this is gonna be so tasty. And we got it all from one packet. It's awesome. Yeah. And let's talk about these sprouted buns a little bit more. Um, yeah. Because I was reading through the ingredients and organic spreaded whole red white flour, water, vital wheat, gluten, organic cane sugar, yeast, and cultured wheat flour, sea salt, um, enriched wheat flour enzymes. I mean, that's it. There's no preservatives? I love that. Yeah, so I think that's pretty amazing. And what I like about the buns too is they have some heft to them, they're not wimpy buns, you know? They're like adding to your experience oh, with your burger. I like it. Yeah, that's what I like. Um, so we're gonna set up our burgers here and then uh, should we eat? 
after we yes. set up. I'm okay. excited. We just built our burgers, did all the things. This is so pretty, mine is ugly. <laughs> Whatever, I mean yours. Yours is not ugly. That's so cute. Yours looks, yours looks a lot more uh, gourmet. Well, I do, I am that person, my husband, every time we go out, well, when we did order burgers, he's like, oh, this looks like a Dana burger. I like the things with the fig jam and the, the brie with the bone marrow stuff. Sorry, that's not vegan, but you know what I mean. So uh, here's my burger. Let's take a bite, shall we? Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, hold on. I know. I'm like, let me let me eat a little bit more, just to just to make sure. Okay, bun, great. It's soft, but still has like that texture. I'm loving it. I'm thinking this. I should have put more cheddar on. I'm stupid. It has a really good sharp taste, which I haven't had in a in a vegan cheese. That, that yeah. thing mimics that sharp taste of a really sharp cheddar, which is one of my favorite things. So mm -hmm. I love that. Mm, wow. I added some smoked gouda, but I love that smoky flavor. This is a really good patty for me because like I've told Dana a million times, I'm not a big fan of the fake meat stuff. This one does not taste overly processed to me. And it still has like a really good sort of hearty feeling to it. Mm. And this is holding up its shape. And yeah. uh, oh, it has a good. okay, <laughs> hang with me. When I touch it on my tongue, it has that good feeling that you almost might like when you get that kind of char on a burger, yep. like a meat burger. That's awesome. Yeah. And I have to say um, that I got a nice little glob of that Nyoko Roadhouse cheddar. It's really good. It has a great tang to it and that like sharpness that, you know, you can't really find a great vegan alternative to like mimic that sharpness. Mm -hmm. This is a good job. It's really tangy and really delicious. Yeah. And you know what? The fries, I'm going to dip it in that sharp cheddar. Mm. I'm going to eat that. So I love crinkle cut fries. I think these Alexia uh, crinkle cut uh, sweet potato fries are great. Mm -hmm. And they're, and they're like, substantial you know and yeah i just put them on broil after you know uh you set your oven at 425 i just kind of shove them in and i just left them in there fun fact i don't time a lot of stuff sometimes <laughs> so you just left them in put them on broil but as they cool they kind of um crisp up a little they're already seasoned with sea salt and black pepper i think based on my mayhu meter you would need more salt a little bit the black pepper is kind of coming through, yeah, but I would say, yeah, he, he always needs the salt. I would say probably a little bit more of that, of the seasoning, or just keep dipping it in to this Miyoko sharp cheddar. This is a really delicious bite of food. Right. Um, I could probably eat another two of these. I would say this is so easy. Mm -hmm. I, we both did it on our stove tops. You could do it like five minutes, seven minutes. You know? Yeah, not even. You know, I, look, I'm actually, I'm eating, see? I'm not taking dainty bites today. You're actually eating big bites. Let's I see. like it. Okay, let's see. Let's see who can take the biggest bite. Ready? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know what to it's say. It's a great service. Great yeah. texture. It's super delicious. And it's a great price point from Shop Veggie. And you can get all these great components all at one, one place. So I definitely would tell you to check it out. 100% one stop shop vegan food. And especially if you live in a place where maybe your vegan choices are more limited. Yeah. Um, great place to get it delivered right to your door. You can try all these products. And if you're not in like a place like Austin, um, where the food truck vegan game is on point, as we've demonstrated, and you're really curious about plant-based stuff, I think this is a 
good way to try that because there's so many subscriptions out there or so many ways to shop for groceries, but mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of ways to shop for those vegan groceries. Absolutely. Well, yeah. de definitely make sure to check out Shop Veggie, um, shopveggie.com. And at Shop Veggie on Instagram. Yeah, and these mainstream burgers are definitely worth it and they're a great price point. Check them out. They and they whole food. Yes. Thanks so much, everyone, for hanging with us here. Keep watching, keep eating with us, and uh, we'll be back with some more um, vegan eats as we keep exploring. Absolutely. I'm excited. I'm hungry. You're hungry. Let's do it. I'm gonna eat it all. I'm Dana. I'm Mabel. This is for vegan ATX. Bye. Have a big bite.